Hey everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That <laughs> channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Thank you for joining me tonight for another head banging video. And as you can see on the screen, you know who we are going to be featuring tonight on the show. Yes, we're going to be talking about Nene Leaks again, okay? Like, we can't get enough. We can't get enough of her because she keep putting her business out there. And I'm like, girl... Sometimes it's not even worth talking about. <laughs> then there's other times where we must talk about it. We got to talk about it. So welcome. Come on in the room and make sure you share my stuff. You like my videos and you share them out. Please do that for your girl, okay? So we can keep chit-chatting together whenever I come on the tube and I invite y'all in. But child. It seems like everybody in the social media world, in the entertainment business, gossip columnists, they love they sell some Nene leaks. From page six, from people.com, from ET online, entertainment online, uh, whew, the shade room. Just a whole host of people <laughs> out there talking about Nene leaks. And you know I had to use my funny face, my jiffies in here to try to understand where we going with this and why are we here in the driveway talking about this mess, okay? Now, reality has struck in. Nene husband died in September. Not September of 2020, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. No, we're talking about this year, 2021. Just past September. I want to say September 1st. Can't remember. Even though I should. Because I talk about Nene all the time. But I don't really talk about Greg. Because Greg didn't like having his business out there. He was a quiet man. Okay. Anything that was being done. He pretty much kept it a secret. Unless he wanted it to get out. Okay. And he just messing with somebody. They wanted their 15 minutes of fame. And just put him on the spot. Like they tried to say he was tipping behind Nene's back when she was uh, doing all her uh, many different jobs. You know, that's when she was a part of the Glee alum sitcom show. And, you know, it didn't go that far. I don't think she made an episode. But it just is what it is. But Greg was lonely. So he just confided in, you know, one of the associates at Nene's shop. Or the shop she once had. Because I think she done closed down all of her uh, clothing stores and put them online or Hell, I don't know where she got him hid. But at least she had fashion. She ain't like Sheree. She by Sheree with no fashions to be shown. And my Dwight, Dwight, uh, and my Dwight voice. Dreadful. Dreadful. Okay. However. Hun and Nene Leaks talking about these people are in her DMs. I'm like, what people is she talking about, people? Because we the people want to know. Especially the ones over here at Dev Chanel's 48th World. Nene, who are your DMs, girl? And why are they in your DMs? You just became a widow. Not even, okay, yeah, it's been a month. But it's been a month and some change, okay? It ain't been like you been widowed for a year or two, okay? Girl, is your pants that hot that you got to seek male companionship? I'm like, girl, did you and Greg have a pack that... If this council came back, which it did, you were free to be, uh, not having like an open marriage where people kind of knew about it, even though Nene speculated it when she was on the show, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, during one of her scenes. And she was talking about open marriage and just that thing. Greg looked at her like she was crazy. Looked at her like she was crazy. Like, I'm too old for that kind of stuff. Whoop, that video, that little clip shouldn't have been in there. That was from my, um... What was her name? Uh, Britney's video I did. Which don't seem like y'all like too much of. But you know, I can't just talk about my guy. I gotta talk about the white folk, the Asians, the uh, Egyptians, anybody that's out there cutting up. And I'm looking at them double time. Or from the side of my eyes, like a side eye look. Or looking you up from your head to your toe, and from your toe back up to your head, trying to analyze you. Okay, to see what I'm getting from you. What the vibe I'm sensing from you. But, child, 
I'm like, what kind of men do you like? What kind of men were in your DM, Sonny? Were they black? Were they white? Were they European? Not European. Uh, were they um, African? Were they Persian? Were they Italian? Girl, drop the T down. We wants to know. Okay, we knows it like that. We want to know. Nene was over there on her Instagram account. Thanking folks uh, for their support while she's going through her grieving process. And I want to say, Nene, are you grieving? Meaning, showing yourself to be a definitely single woman, but newly uh, widowed. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you're going too fast for me, Nene. You're going too fast. And you might be going too fast for your family. They just had sat down set you down and told you honey you're moving too fast okay moving a little bit too fast okay you already said that you want to sell the house we ain't too cool about that but we know you probably can't afford it so to take that burden off of you do what your deceased husband told you drop all your assets uh well hide all your assets on the brent's name or whatever for you know um purposes because you got in trouble with the law or you got in trouble with uh some uh what do you call them um business investors um because things kind of looking a little shaky and you know i would be scared too if i was newly divorced and i was trying to figure out how i'm gonna do this how i'm gonna do that how i'm gonna keep this how i'm gonna keep that you know having to choose from what i really want versus what i need you know you have to downsize yourself you know, but Nene was just worried about that, you know, that thing between the man's leg, okay? I'm like, girl, get you a deal, though. Satisfy yourself until you can really sit down and think about this thing. Because let's just say you worth $2 million. You don't think them men in your DM because they want to get some of that cougar money. You don't think they want somebody to take care of them. Nina, you've been out of the game for a while because you've been majorly 95%. Or we just give you 92% with Greg, the seasoned man. The man that done got tired of flipping it, shaking it, rubbing it down. He, he, he was past that point. He just, just long if you just lay by me. <laughs> let me just feel on you for a minute. And I got my high. And then let me close my eyes and turn over. You go mess with whoever you want to mess with. But don't be bring me back no disease now. That's allegedly. I'm just speaking out my mind of how when we get old and we get tired. We ain't got time for all that. Just get in, get in and do your job. Get your high. And, you know, let it be what it be. What? Yeah. Don't tell me that, though. Um, but, uh, you got my daughter sitting here worrying me while I'm trying to do this quick tape. But I, I don't understand where Nene coming from. I'm like, girl, hang on to your coins, your dollars, your bills as long as you can. Don't let these young whippersnappers come up in your DMs looking all fine and sexy. And then they want you to take care of them. Because that's pretty much what you'll look like, a cougar. Taking care of these youngins out here. Now, do you want to be fooling around with somebody your son's age, Nene? Or you want to be dealing with somebody that pretty much has nothing to offer you when times get hard out there. You know, it's hard for a pimp it. Okay? When you're trying to make the rent. Okay? Now, if it's some luscious brothers like that, Nene, <laughs> I'm like, are you trying to go back to uh, Nene got her groove back? Okay? You know that uh, movie? Uh, written by what was her name? God, I can't think of her name. But anyway, black author, and she wrote Terry McMillan, I think. Uh, I want to say, wrote her uh, how Stella got a groove back. Older, seasoned woman in her prime starts messing with this young Caribbean type man. Oh, but oh, he was just all sexy and all kind of milk chocolate, kind of like this dumb brother. Okay, well, but he was much, much younger than her. But, you know, he had some uh, things uh, working for him, and he was aspiring to do a lot of things. And, you know, he just wanted to, he had really fell in love with this young, older woman. And, of course, she didn't know what to do with him because he was like a little boy toy. But then he got started getting serious with her, and she started having feelings for him. And she didn't know what to do with him. And she almost lost him, but at the end of the story, they got their groove together, and they lived happily ever after. 
But I'm just trying to figure out what the hell Nene doing. You know what I'm saying? She going around him. She already was kind of dressing kind of skimpy. But then she kind of put a little more clothes on it and was acting appropriate as her age. But honey, now she going, going out. I don't know what Nene doing out there. I don't know. Nene going through a crisis or something. It ain't got nothing to really do with Greg's death. I think she just was uh pretty much had put him out the pasture anyway. Because he was already getting on her nerves before he got sick. And, you know, they were having a little riff and tiff. And she wasn't happy. Because on one of them reunion shows, she was ready to get rid of him. I mean, he was just too much. He was disrespecting her and all this kind of stuff. Like, well, what are you doing now, Nene? What is he doing now? Okay, don't be like Bobby Warmack saying, if you think you're lonely now, <laughs> wait until tonight, girl. So you go mess with them youngins if you want to, Nene, and that's the song you're going to be singing, okay? Because they're going to be long gone. They're going to be long gone with your money, Nene. So slow your roll, honey. Slow your roll. Get one of them. I, mean, I ain't going to say get with the silver foxes. I was trying to find a uh, picture of them, but when I had cut the video and start talking i forgot all about it. i didn't include them but them silver foxes they're some gorgeous men and they dress who impeccable all right but i'm saying they probably be looking for somebody to take care of them too because they dress too fine they are they, they dress too fine like fine wine from head to the toe from toe to the head whoo just google silver foxes then you'll see what i'm talking about but I'm like, Nene, who was up in your DMs, girl? Was they black? Was they white? Was they African? Was they Persian? Was they Asian? Was they um, who Italian? Girl, was they celebrities? Were they celebrities on the verge of being a celebrities? You know, like yourself was. You know, you probably known around here, around town. You know, back in your heyday, but um. Child, you everybody know Nene. Nene is a definite household name, and I can say she was one of the founders of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and that's that's good to be a household name because we sure be looking for you. I sure be looking for all my babies on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? Except for Sheree and Cynthia, Eva, who else? Claudia Jordan. <sighs> I, 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 the rest of my kind of enjoyed Deshaun she wasn't too much of anything Wasn't giving that much Because she really wasn't about that life She was about her coins She was about the Well she was about the Lord first Then she was about her coins Family You know stuff of that nature And she just wanted to kind of chill So I don't know who really pushed her into uh, Becoming a housewife Because it, it just wasn't her cup of tea It wasn't her cup of tea child. She was not drama filled And she was not ratchet Okay now that's the one they could have kept on and dropped Cynthia. But um it just is what it is. She wasn't really made for reality ratchet TV. She had too much class about herself. And she didn't want everybody up in her business. Deshaun Snow, look her up. I think she's married to something uh NFL has been. But then shortly after uh, they were concluding the season that she was on, I think she ended up getting a divorce from that man. But you know. It's always two sides to a story in the middle is somewhere. The truth is somewhere in the middle of it. Uh, I was always told and I do believe that. But um, everybody hell they say so or why something didn't work out. But Nene, I think girl, unless you're going to that man that you were messing with before Greg had got sick and died and y'all got the divorce and all that kind of stuff. Allegedly. You, can you go seek him out? Because at least you know about him. And it seems like you were having some fun with him. With your different shades and all. Okay, girl. But trying to break out him. And you folks know you got a cute coin. What you think they're going to do with you, Nene? What you think? You th better yet, go and look up Marlo. Because Marlo been in them streets. Okay? Like I said, she was allegedly a call girl. I'm not saying. I'm not confirming. I'm not denying. But that's what the streets are saying. So, I think you need to go learn some tricks of the trade of Marlo Hampton on how to get these rich men. Don't matter what kind of race they are in or, they are, or culture. She don't care about all that. She just talking about how long the money is. and Is it short money or is it long money? Okay. Because Marlo Hampton has the fashions, okay? She knows the people of the who's who. And, hey, she's definitely been well kept, I can tell you that. But, anyway, 
since I've had my little spiel, let's go on into page six. And like I said, all the top um, blogging sites as well as magazine uh, subscribe, subscribe, not subscribe, but magazine companies such as U.S. Weekly, OK Magazine, page six. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure the Shade Room had it, but I'm not... Uh, I haven't really went on their website lately uh, to just see have they caught the story, were they interested in doing the story. I'm not saying they haven't done it or in plans of doing it, I just haven't seen it. But I'm just going off page six because I don't like to use the same source all the time. You know, I like to give people their shout outs uh, and use different type of, with different platforms to get my information. Okay. But like I said, I'm getting this from page six. And it's a Chelsea Hirsch had wrote the commentary up of the article on Nene Leaks. It's not that much, but it's just, you know, playing into what she had put out on social media, her own platform on Instagram, that she had some men in her DMs and they were telling her something. And then, what she call it, it was inspiring her. I'm like, girl, what was inspiring? They were talking uh, sexy to you. They were telling you what they could do for you in and outside of the bed. Okay. Uh, what, what were they, girl? Girl, what were they saying? You should have put that on social media. We wanted to see them DMs. I don't, I, I, hey, I'd rather see them than you tell me about them. Because I was like, what, 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 who are these folks? You know what I'm saying? Look at their little avatar picture to see if it's them or could it be somebody else. You know, like, Nene, what you going to do next? You going to be on the dating site? Girl, for the rich and famous. Child, you better match incomes for income these days. Because men will take you for all you got as well as women will take you out for all you got. Okay? And I'm sure it happens in the same sex uh, arena as well. But anyway, the title is Nene Leakes Thanks Gentlemen Sliding Into DMs After Grizz. Damn, I'm like, girl... His head ain't really got cold. Ain't been in the dirt. or I mean, maybe got cremated. But his spirit, you know, hadn't been gone. No three or four months. No year. That's what he doing, Sean. And uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm not understanding. What's going on? I mean, do you need a thug like uh, 50 Cent? Uh, he ain't available. He taking that chick Cuban link or something like that. And, and LL Cool J. And I forgot that little uh, model. To the left, but you know, I think these men are taking. So, are you, you you dealing with somebody in your DMs? They got money, girl. Are they uh famous people? Are they celebrities? Because just where you need to be, you don't need to be coming around him messing with no uh somebody trying to come up. No, you too old in the game. You 53 like me. We ain't got time to be uh interviewing people. We need to know are you ready to go? Do you got what you got? And uh, how much I need to add on? How much you adding on to this relationship? Of debt. Yeah, we need to look at the debt ratio. We need to look at the credit history. We need to look at the bank account. Because we ain't got time to fool around. We, we, we in the latter part of our lives. We, we ain't starting up. Well, we need to help folks and all that kind of stuff. Mm -mm, nope, nope. Can't do all that. Mm -mm, no. All right, unless the Lord say so. Unless the Lord say so. But anyway, we're going to get into this quick article. Um, I gave you the title already. And it goes in with a cute little picture of Nene in some green outfit. Uh, she's thinking of men who slid in her, to her DMs following her husband's death. She said, it seems, it seems like Nene won't have any problems looking for love again. Nope, she going to be looking for lust. Because that's all out there. These men I'm showing you, they, they lustful. Okay, they ain't trying to get no real relationship going. Not with somebody like Nene, you know, just out there, loud, abrasive sometime. And then, you know, behind closed doors, she might be soft and sensual. But I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, who, you're coming late into the game. You've been messed up with Greg for how long? And you don't got, you know, like an old shoe. You can read them from uh, a mile away. Know where you feel it, how you feeling before he feel it. Uh, completing his sentences and stuff like that. You coming in a, you you you're coming in the wrong time. You're old in the game, and the game has have gotten worse than what it was before. Trying to meet people out here, Nene. So be careful, baby. That's what I'm saying. Once you keep your little cute coin, you got. I don't want to see nobody take you for a, a, you know advantage of you. But anyway, going back to the article, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum 53 took to Instagram Wednesday to thank the men who slid into her DMs following the death of her husband, Greg Leakes, last month. That's right, last month. Thank you for everybody, she said in a sincere 
expired video on her story all the gentlemen that have been in my dms thank you all too nini then joked and said i'm just over here doing me right now but anyway hey i love reading the messages they are inspiring to say the least thank you and uh i was like whoa 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 then the article goes pretty much in well, it was saying while wow, she may not be dating again just yet, Nene is moving on from their marital home. She, meaning she was selling her house, it's just uh, regurgitated stuff that I'm sure I've talked about in the past and a couple of my videos and social media where it's just really tired of hearing about, <coughs> you know, the passing of Mr. Greg Leaks. And I mean, it's, it put a fork in it, it's done. Uh, and Nene trying to use that as an excuse to basically rehash her love life. And I'm like, girl, can you be a little bit more conservative? Can you be a little bit more patient? Could we hear about all these men sliding your DMs and you going to live life to the fullest? And we know that's going to include a man somewhere down the road. But can we just say, can you slow, slow it down a little bit, Nene? Smell the roses this time around. Okay, because you ain't going to get nobody like Greg again. You know, they only say you get those maybe uh, once in a lifetime and maybe twice in a lifetime. But, it, you know, you get that one that really that good, 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 good one. That put up with everything, all of your mess. That really like comes once in a lifetime. That's what the old adage says. Not me. I'm just going by what the old adage says. And it's kind of feeling to be true in that uh statement of understanding things about that cliche all right but uh you know because uh, what last month she was talking about she was broken hearted you know and then this month she's selling off stuff so thinking about moving from atlanta to some place in another state hell it might be in another country some people even said in social media she might be going i think they might be trying to do a real housewives of a of uh, Johannesburg or somewhere in Africa, and I'm like, girl, Nene, don't, they don't want you over there either, honey. They don't want you over there starting up stuff, coming, taking all their publicity when they want to um hone in some publicity themselves. They want to make up their own uh housewife. They don't need you over there, mm -mm, girl. No, no, unless you're marrying a king or a prince, and then that would be something. That's a big come up because I don't know what Porsche doing over there in her pursuit of happiness. I don't know what Porsche doing. She going, I mean, it's like Simon should be your equal, you know, not Porsche's equal, but she don't marry, she's trying to marry grandpa over there. That's well, well season. He got all these kids and he don't want to be with them. And it seems like he, he he's not, where, when does he work? That's what I want to know. I, I'll never see him in no business. Office. I'll never see him in no real business suit. He's always kind of on vacation or he's taking pictures all the time. And I'm like, is Portia handling your social media page? And we can see Portia at work the majority of the time. Because she's a, a personality uh, in radio as well as on TV. So just seeing her in any type of format where things are very sociable or they're doing a uh, big advertisement for different agencies and she's marketing them or being the spokesperson for that brand we see her working but i don't see simon working and he's supposed to be a millionaire uh but yet um only thing i do see him do is travel and smoke cigars I ain't really got in depth with him because I just really don't want to talk about Grandpa. He really don't interest me. You know, I don't think I say, you know, he might be taking advantage of Miss Portia. And because, you know, she has some good jobs. Now, whether they want to pay you what you think you were worth, I don't know, Portia. I don't know because all this reality TV stuff, you don't need any education for it. You just got to know how to bring uh ratchetness and you got to be friendly to the camera and people gotta like you i mean you gotta have a likable spirit for them to gravitate to to be able to want to watch you consecutively throughout season after season after year after year you know what i'm saying gotta have that likability whether they like you because you could be getting people together you know or how they say shading them lightly or you know throwing the whole full tree at folks you know what i'm saying i, I don't know you know i don't know
Because I'm not one of them people that I want to be on TV. I want to open up my life and be in a fishbowl. No, because I kind of like going shopping where I don't have to have security around me. Or to have people coming up to me when I'm just trying to shop. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really want to talk. Because I might be in one of them moods. You know how Monica say, it's just one of them days that a girl goes through when I'm angry inside. I want to take it out on you. And, you know, you might be coming up with a fan, you know, or, or, or a, a person that likes you from your career choice and entertainment field. And you might not be feeling it. You know, some might, you know, you just want to be to yourself. And then somebody might be coming up there tomorrow. Can you give me an autograph? Can you, can you sign? Can you take a picture? You know, you'd be like, hey, well, I, I don't want to do all that. Can I just shake your hand, give you a hug, and we just be cool? Can we do that? Because I don't want to take no picture. I'm not looking right. Or you have to feel like you have to come out. Whenever you come out, even going to the mailbox, they retrieve your mail, you got to be looking like on point. You got to be fleeked out. Everything got to be in place. Or somebody, meaning the paparazzi, they're going to be taking snapshots of you and putting them on the website for everybody to see how dysfunctional or, or how disheveled you look. Then they're going to be making up lies, so much you going through this, that, and the third. You know, but hey, that's what happens sometimes when you want to be a part of the social uh media realm where you're in a uh upscale where you're meeting celebrities and you might even become one yourself by being a youtube influencer but it just is what it is but i just had that cute little story uh to tell to share with my fam on youtube to see if y'all we had kindred spirits about this situation do you think nini is moving too fast do you think she's moving too 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 fast okay and we talk about Porsche jumping from man to man to man. We need to be looking at Nene about just, ooh, it's going too fast. I don't think anybody can keep up with them with her in their mind. Because we, we don't know where she coming or she going. You know, she just got uh, deemed a widow one month ago. In a couple of days. Now she's talking about moving out of house. Moving to another state. Trying to slide with some men. In her DMs, okay? Trying to keep it on a down low. And I'm like, Nene, that's just too much. Too much. You're doing too much too fast for me. Let me catch up with you just being single again, okay? And living your best life. Living my best life. I ain't got time. Or I ain't going back and forth with you. It was living my best life. Yeah, honey. But that's all I had for this video. If you like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't hesitate to share that girl stuff. I'm that girl, so share my stuff. Share my videos. Share, 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 share. And like, 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 like. Okay? Those are the two things. Share and like my videos. Okay? And tune in every time I come to the screen. Because I'm going to be talking about something. I'm going to be talking about something. I may not talk about something you like that day. But keep checking with me as I drop videos on the daily. You may be surprised. You may get a chuckle. You may get some informative information. Or you may have a new perspective of what I may be covering that day. Okay. But that's all I got for this video. And y'all have a nice weekend. Bye bye.